Hello. Today I was hoping to have a look at the cycle of change. The cycle of change is a series of stages that we all kind of go through when we're making a big change in our life, like giving up using a substance or, or alcohol. Um, and it starts, we all, we all start in pre contemplation. And basically, pre contemplation means that we're not even thinking about making a change in life. It hasn't occurred to us to make a change. It's where using our substance is normal. It's like eating, it's like breathing, it's like going to the loo, it's just what we do. We just use our substance. Don't even think about it, just use it. And we all start there. And then at some point, we move into contemplation. And that's when we start thinking about, hang on, why am I doing this? What what could I do differently? What would life be like if I didn't use my substance? You know, I'm not I'm not enjoying this. It's, it's having a bad effect on on my life. What would it be like not to do this? So we start questioning, and then we can move we move into planning. And planning is basically how. How the hell am I going to do this? You know, it's all right deciding I might want to make a change in my life, but how? How do I do this? So I, I might phone people up. Um, I might phone agencies up. I might start attending groups, smart groups, um, fellowship groups. Um, I might put in a putting a plan together, uh, um, and until I get to the stage where I can take action. Now action is what I call the easy bit. Action is when we decide, right, this is the day I'm not going to take take anything. I'm not going to use anything. I'm going to stop using. Um, and I call it the easy part because stopping doing something is easy. Um, but it's followed by the really, really hard bit. And that's maintaining. Keeping on, keeping on. It's easy to stop. Anyone, anyone can stop. It's, it's staying stop. That's the hard bit. Um, and so hopefully we'll get to maintaining. And then maybe, hopefully, what we're aiming for is some people call it exit. Some people call it mature maintaining. Doesn't really matter what you call it. But we want to get to a stage. I'm going to call it exit. Where not using. Is normal. This is what this is what we're aiming for. But once we've gone round here, there's a chance, um, and it's completely it's, well, it's not unusual. Um, is that when we're maintaining, something might happen. Something will upset us, or something bad goes wrong, or we meet an old mate, or something happens. And we have a blip, um, and a, and a one-off blip is called a lapse. It's not the end of the world. It's it's in a way part of recovery, and we can use a lapse to strengthen our recovery. If I could say, okay, well I had a lapse, I had a blip that weekend. Why did that happen? Well, I had a really stressful time. Um, I bumped into a mate and it all went horribly wrong. So I can now know that when I'm stressed, I know that's that's a dangerous time for me and I have to be extra careful. Um, so now that I've learned that, I've strengthened my recovery. That lapse has given me some strength. I've leveled up, if you like, and I can go straight back into action again. Uh, and carry on. Um, obviously, we don't want to say 
well, it's part of recovery, therefore I can have a lapse. That's, don't use it as an excuse to have a lapse. But if a, la a lapse happens, we can learn from it. We can use it to strengthen our recovery. It's not the end of the world. Um, we haven't failed. Um, we're still in recovery and we can still carry on. Sometimes, though, what happens is we might repeat our lapse and we carry on and we go back to where we were, we were before when using becomes normal. And that's a relapse. So the important thing there is that there's two, there are two different things. A lapse is a blip and we can go straight back into it. A relapse is when we go back into our old behavior where using is just normal again. But even that isn't a complete failure. Even then, you don't go back to square one because you don't lose all the work you put in before. You put all this work in, all this thinking about what it'd be like to stop, planning how you're going to stop, working out how you're going to maintain. You've done all that so that you've still got all that knowledge. So you've still leveled up a bit. So even if you start the circle again, it's not actually really a circle. It's a spiral. And it's an upward spiral. You can actually think of it as like building up speed. What we're doing is we're building up speed. It might be the case that we go round, relax, go round, but each time we've got the knowledge we build up speed and then maybe we get into the thing where we have a couple of lapses and then we've built up enough speed and we can get into exit. Um, that's all completely normal. Most people might go around the whole thing a few times and around this bit a few times before they come, that, come to that. But each time we go around, we strengthen our recovery. There's no such thing in fa as failure in recovery. It's all a learning experience and we can all learn and strengthen our recovery till we built up enough speed that we can come here. Um, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, thanks.